Buzz with Jess Luhan. We're back, main studio guest, uh, Senator Alin Yamashita. We're talking about universal pre-K, and then we'll be touching on, uh, of course, the, the procurement measures where, where charter school will fall under Gulf Guam procurement uh, uh, rules and regulations. Uh, Senator, let me, let, me, let me touch on this, because you, you, you said something here in regards to the, the um, uh, enrollment of students. When you were at DOE, of course, that was a while back, but that was 30, 36,000 kids at the time. Now we have 31,000 kids. Uh, and during the break, I was asking whether we're top heavy in the sense that are we heavy uh, in the high school level because we're 5,000 kids um, less now. We're still building schools. We're extending high schools out. We're opening another high school. 5,000 kids uh, less. I'm saying we're, we're, we're high school heavy. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is it about time? I mean, I know they're going to be doing some realignments, right. okay? Um, people are not uh, people are not happy about that, but hey, <laughs> that's the way it is, right? right. Um, but is it time now to look if, if we're if we're heavy? And, and my question is as, as well here: Would that now shift the 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 load the the load capacity to to middle school? Uh, is it time now to revisit elementary, junior high, where you have junior high from seven to to nine, and then high school being from ten? To, to 12. I mean, is, is the time right for that? Or, or would that put a burden and, and an impact on, on the, in the junior high or middle school level now? Right. Well, our middle schools are really, uh, are very overcrowded themselves. Okay. So I, th I agree with you on that, that thought that our secondary uh, level is, uh, is burdened. Mm -hmm. And so, um, for example, Rius Middle is way over capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, and we really need a middle school in Tumuning so that yeah. the Tumuning kids can stay in Tumuning mm -hmm. and then go to JFK, right? I really, I still say this, Chief Brody should be turned into a middle school so they can articulate to JFK and share mm -hmm. all the fields and, you know, uh, the facilities. Um, uh, just, I think the only middle school that is not brimming uh, is uh, Ocean View. Mm -hmm. But everybody else is really, really crowded. Mm -hmm. So to go to the junior high model, I don't think we'll, we'll address mm -hmm. that. Uh, besides the fact that I think the middle school mm -hmm. concept is really a very good concept mm -hmm. for adolescents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the high school folks, you know, Okuru was built and uh, there they, we just extended it. Mm -hmm. So that law that said there should be a cap so that it's a smaller learning community mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. more personalized, um, that is just not being addressed sure. at Okuru, sure. right, which is unfortunate. Now, we have rooms at Southern High. Mm -hmm. That school was something that the community wanted. Mm -hmm. They built it sure. and it was opened. Uh, at that point, I thought mm -hmm. it should be given to GCC, and mm -hmm. we'll take the GCC campus because it's, it really is expansive. It's sure. an expansive campus. However, it is a DOE high school, mm -hmm. and uh, and teachers who are teaching there tell me that 50% of this campus isn't being used. I mean, half of the campus is not being it's used. It's not being used. So, you you are correct. The families and the kids don't like to leave their home schools. Sure. They've got uh, relationships. They have history. Uh, they have traditions. But it, when we talk to our families and we tell them about safety, about opportunities, about doing things you know, in mm -hmm, a different mm -hmm. way, uh, we are families, as you mm -hmm. know, as your dad, we are, we're open mm -hmm. as long as you give us enough time mm -hmm. and you give us the room to vent and talk and then come to an, an understanding, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think now that they're doing it, I think that's good. I'm sure there are a lot of unhappy people. Now, now why, why don't we do this in, instead? I mean, because uh, one of the things, uh, you know, and the governor's getting beat up for this. I mean, I know his back was against the wall in regards to, to the teaching property for, for, for school. And, and now, you know, you're going to have a school there with probably no gymnasium. So you have an incomplete school. Mm -hmm. Uh, my understanding as well is that DOE Central is going to move their their uh, their their operations up there. Mm -hmm. Why don't instead why doesn't why doesn't DOE Central move their operations then to uh, to Southern High uh, and have again that facility up there? It, it makes no sense uh, for for um, for DOE Central to use what could be used for a school, whereas you have a school building now that's that's half empty and not even being looked at to put more students in there, you can use that, you can use that for, for central operations, mm -hmm. DOE central, and then use the other inventory that we have, again, for, for classrooms. Yeah. It would, it would, it, but is that too logical? Does that make no, too much I, sense? No, well, um, Does it get, the, get them out of their comfort zone? Because I'm not at all the meetings, and I'm certainly mm -hmm. not included in all mm -hmm. the discussions, I don't know what went to all of the decisions. Okay. But what I do know, what I do know, Senator, 
is that the governor supported and upheld what the superintendent sure, recommended. Sure. That's what I do know. Mm -hmm. So whatever all those decisions and conversation <laughs> pieces were, the governor said, okay, that's what this, the system wants, that's what this, the, the way the system wants to go, okay, well, that's what we'll mm -hmm. support. So, but but does it, it doesn't mean that the, 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 the superintendent always makes a common sense decision. Well, I can. I'm not in all those conversations. I, you know, if the board is supporting mm -hmm. it, then the, all of those conversations okay. have to have been had. Okay. And so, you know, so this is where we're at. Now, I, I don't know the latest. I don't really know what, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I haven't been given any status reports about you know, mm -hmm. where we are you know, with the teaching thing. Let so. me shift. Um, the, uh, you guys uh, crafted a bill, of course, that, uh, that mm -hmm. you passed, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and I think the governor passed it into law today that, mm -hmm. that puts the um, charter school, uh, all charter schools now, who, whoever may, may come on board now, that they have to adhere to the rules and regulations of Gov Guam procurement. I mean, I, I watch with awe, uh, you know, when you guys had the, the an oversight hearing. The attempted oversight. Attempted yeah. oversight yeah. when they when they appeared before you and d deferred, all, I guess, all questions to, to the legal counsel. Right. But even got me even more, I was, I, I, a, a former senator was sitting there, uh, former senator George Bamba was yes. sitting right there, and I'm sure he was beside himself. Yes. Just saying, what are you doing? I used right. to sit up there. What are you doing? Right. We're here to justify right. our expenditures. I mean, and, and reading quotes from me, said for in, in PDN, where he said he, said he, he saw some things that, that just weren't transparent, and I just couldn't, you yeah. know, just couldn't move forward with this. I mean, what have we learned from this new, new charter and what, in, in moving forward? How do we go about, because we cannot continue. I mean, uh, you know, what they're doing, I mean, to me, I think it is mismanagement. I, I think uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a proponent, a supporter of direct instruction, but now that they're segregated, I think some kids are doing well. From mm -hmm. parents that I, I hear, they're doing well. <clears throat> I don't think that the person that manages, I think the, C, the CEO probably should not be CEO from my first meeting with her. She may be a good program coordinator and all that for, for DI, mm -hmm. okay, but not a CEO, mm -hmm. not the business person to come before you. You were one of the great <laughs> supporters, you yeah, and, 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 uh, and, and the speaker, yes. and not to answer to your questions. And I'm going, you know, next time I'm going to give you one dollar for your funding. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I know you won't, but, but what have we learned? So what we've learned is that um, such a huge programming effort uh, requires a lot of planning and a lot of support. What that means for us now is that as the Charter School Council mm -hmm. is uh, coming to be, mm -hmm. we still have, we're still trying to find one person who has finance background to go through the process to become a charter, become a part of that council. We have learned that those Charter School Councils wear many hats. And mm -hmm. so as they teach, as they work, they cannot dedicate all the time that is needed to research and develop a good program structure mm -hmm. for Charter School. So one of the things we're looking at is to provide them an executive director for charter schools so that person can do that work. Uh, Families First Office did a lot of work in, in the steps to getting a school opened. There's so many steps and there's so many agencies. So we now have a document that says where you gotta go, who you need to see, and what you need to do in order to get um, uh, occupancy permits. So we're gonna have to create another position? I am asking the speaker to support <clears throat> an executive director position for Charter School Council, I think would help them pull everything together and get the work uh, supported. You know, yeah, I, I, I know. You know, and I know they're a charter school, but you know, we have a superintendent already. Uh, I, I mean, no, I, I, I know the autonomy. There's certain right, autonomy right. that they have, and I, and, and I right. know all that. Or either that, or can right. we switch to vouchers then? Vouchers, because yeah. then, because, <laughs> because you know what? This thing is, 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 is getting to be just that, you know, <clears throat> no, this can't, no, this can't, no, well, it's, <laughs> a, it's, you know, we're, 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 we, we began wobbling and, you know, we'll find our legs. We had some real uh, unfortunate um, misturns. Okay. So it's okay. going to work out. Okay. But okay. we need the leadership. Mm -hmm. We need the people in place. We need the steps. And well, we already have smart people. But I mean, I mean, we, we need more smart people. The last thing we, we need is more smart people. We can always use more smart people. We're, we're, we're going to go to a break. Oh, you always we're, do this to me. <laughs> Once I start talking, we're going to go a break. We're going to go to break. I need to go to break. You know you should break. do the breaks at the end of the program. We're going to go to break. We'll or be right back. Got to pay some bills. Be right back. All the time.